Hey guys, one clue here. Do you know how easy it is to get started with mining cryptocurrencies? All you need is just a tiny device like this, that's a Raspberry Pi, and a micro SD card. So let's get right into it and start mining. As you have seen in the beginning of the video, all we need to start mining is such a tiny device like this Raspberry Pi. In this example, this is a Raspberry Pi 4 B model and I have a, I guess, a 32 or 64 gigabyte micro SD card. And what you also need is something to plug in this micro SD card. This is a SD card reader. Uh, I can simply plug this in and put this into my computer. So let's quickly do this. I plug this into my computer and let me change the camera. What we need then is a software to flash the SD card. Currently I'm on my website and on there you can find a tutorial on how to set this up. If you don't want to watch this video, just check out the link in the video description. There's a link to my website. So what I have downloaded is the Raspberry Pi um, imager. This is a software that is flashing your SD card and then you can run a mining software on your device. All you need to do is to download this piece of software. I will also put a link in the video description that you can download this software. So what we're gonna choose is a image and we need a operating system for this device. So what I'm doing here is I click on Raspberry Pi OS and what I wanna choose is the Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64 bits. So this is a firmware for this device without a desktop environment. So it is not displaying anything. If you plug in a monitor, it will not display anything. So keep this in mind. What we need to do in order to access our device is to connect to it via SSH, via shell. But I will show you all the steps that are needed. So I click on Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64 bits. I choose the uh, micro SD card. As I said, I have a micro SD card plugged in. And now what we're gonna do here is we click on this um, on this small symbol here and we wanna create a couple of additional settings so that we can log into our Raspberry Pi. I call this one Pi Miner. I activate SSH and I give this one a login cre credential let's say pi minor password one two three four five six and uh, that's it i can save this i click on write i accept it and now it will take a couple of seconds i will pause the video and i will be back as soon as this is done okay i'm back as you can see the device has been written and the micro sd card has been flashed so what we can do now is we can uh, we can go out of this program and we can take our micro SD card and put it into the Raspberry Pi. All we need to do now is to power this Raspberry Pi and connect it to your local network. I'm using a Ethernet cable to do this, but as I have been showed you in the settings tab before you flash the micro SD card, you can also enable Wi-Fi if you want to choose Wi-Fi instead of a cable. But I will quickly connect this and we'll be right back. So there we go. I powered this device up and I connected it to my local network. What you need to do now is to go into your router or into your DHCP server and check out what kind of IP address you got. Um, I already did this so we can open a comment prompt and connect via SSH to this device. So I will quickly do this. PyMiner add the IP address and it should ask us. We accept it with yes and we put in the password and we should be logged in okay now what we can do is go to uh, my website and check out we already have done the step number one and now we need to connect it to it we already did this what we need to do now is to update the device so we simply put in sudo apt update and after this we can do a sudo apt upgrade to get the latest firmware and all the latest upgrades that we need on this device. This should only take a couple of seconds as the device is brand new and is quickly connected to the internet. So this should be an easy step for it. So what we need to do now is we need to install all the required dependencies 
for the mining software that we are going to use. In this example, I will try to mine Monero with this Raspberry Pi due to the fact that it's really simple to set up. It's a privacy coin. I don't want to go too deep into detail about this cryptocurrency, but I want to show you how easy it is to mine something. So we install all the dependencies and we accept with Y and there we go. Okay, now what we can do is we clone the Git repository from XMRig. XMRig is um, a software that is enabling us to mine something with our CPU. And the Raspberry Pi has a CPU, so we are using this to mine a cryptocurrency such like Monero. So let's go into the folder of XMRig. And in here we need to do a thing. We need to create a new folder. We call this folder build. And then we can cd into build. And in here what we need to do is just two small commands. cmake dot dot. And this will take a couple of seconds. But after it's done we can do the next command. And now this command will take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two. Uh, this is now building the XMRIG software and therefore we need to wait until it's done. I will skip this quickly for you guys. So we are back and as you can see the build has been done. We can take a look into the directory and everything is there. Now there's only one last step that we need to do and that's running XMRIG. So what we need here is we need a valid Monero address and we need a mining pool. So all you need is download your favorite wallet to get your Monero address. Um, you might be using Zalco or you can also use the Monero GUI and the official Monero wallet. And when it comes to the pools, we can take a look on mining pool stats. And there you have plenty of different pool operators with different pool fees and different payout mechanisms like PPLNS, Solo or PPS or even Prop. And just choose one that you like. Um, what I always like to do is to take a look on what's the minimum payout and P2Pool therefore has one of the lowest minimum payouts and therefore I would suggest to mine to P2Pool but it is quite difficult to set this up if you are not familiar with, with what you're doing due to the fact that it, it is not simply just put in the pool address and then you're good to go. P2Pool is something decentralized but I will cover this in another video. For today's example, what I will do is I will use my own pool I am currently working on and therefore let's see if this is working. So what we need, what we need to do is to type uh, point slash xmrig and now dash l for our pool name and therefore I put in my IP address of this pool and now we put in our username and a Monero address and we choose a mining algorithm in this case I need to specify this and we also can set a password in this example it's x. I start doing this and let's say we are connected to it and it is accepting new jobs and let's see how this is working and as you can see we got our first share so the mining software is working and now our small little device the Raspberry Pi is mining Monero. I hope you liked the video. If you do so, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. See you in the next one.